Okay, good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Mickey Spillane and I'm just going to do a very short tutorial on how to um, set up your PT4 heads-up display with uh, the new Grosvenor client which is running on the iPoker network. Uh, they went across last Tuesday. A few people have said they can't get their HUD to work so uh, I'm just, uh, just going to do a little tutorial to help out those that are struggling. Now, how does it work? Well, the HUD basically runs off the hand histories that are uh, that the poker tracker 4 sources from your computer so your computer the client the grosvenor client or the ipoker client running the grosvenor uh, uh, poker site every hand gets dumped onto the hard drive in a specific location and then poker tracker 4 is scanning those locations for hands and uh, other sites such as 888 such as poker stars etc all the sites that allow hand history downloads uh, will be putting them into different places and once you've got pt4 set up it will scan those locations for new hands dropping into those folders and once it finds a hand it then uh, pulls it imports it effectively into poker tracker 4 and then the hud can pick it up and display it assuming you've got your hud assigned properly i'm just going to and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through all of that stuff right now so the first thing to do really is to uh, is to actually download the client uh, and play a few hands. So once you've downloaded the client, you'll see that the lobby looks something like this. What you need to do before you start playing is go into my account up here. Uh, sorry, go into settings first of all on this main uh, left hand side. Go into settings from my account and then go general. And when you get general this screen comes up and just make sure you've got this store hand history locally set up play a few hands uh, whether your HUD's working or not um, uh, uh, and then close the client down so you've done that um, as long as that box is ticked uh, on your Windows 10 machine I'm talking Windows 10 today because at the moment unfortunately there isn't a client for the Mac just yet although that is in development and is coming soon for those of you that play on a Mac, as are apps in the various um, Android and iPhone stores. So you'll be able to play on your, your iPad and your Android device uh, and your phones, etc. very shortly, I'm assured. Um, okay, so we now know that the hands are being saved to your hard drive. Uh, now, I found, having spoken to at least 10 people this week since Tuesday, and uh, ha having seen myself, because I've got a desktop and a laptop running uh, Poker Tracker and running both client, running the, the new client, that uh, the hand history location varies. Um, and I can't say it's to do with whether you're running a 32 bit version of Windows or a 64 bit version, or whether you're Windows, running Windows Pro or Windows Home. It doesn't seem to correlate from, from the admittedly very small sample size, because I've seen people with Windows Home running it in the same location as people with Windows Pro. Uh, however, my version of Windows Home puts it in a completely different version. So there are two, effectively two ways uh, or, or two routes that I can suggest. And I'll go through the most popular one that I've seen, probably eight, eight or nine out of the 10. Um, uh, and that is uh, where it's saved on my desktop, which is good for this tutorial, because what I've done is I've taken off uh, everything in P Poker Tracker 4 to do with iPoker and Grosvenor uh, today so that I can just reload it on this uh, on this tutorial. Okay, so um, when you uh, do a search of your hard drive, uh, and my, uh, my Grosvenor name is RNR06, uh, this doesn't show the whole string, but you basically go to your user account uh, and go into your user account uh, and then find this string. And I'll do that very shortly. Um, and there's something else you need to do to, to find that. Uh, and if you're if 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 you can't see it there, have a look in, on this string here. So tag this uh, four minutes twenty seven in the video. Um, if you can't find it the first way, have a look on your hard drive later to see. So this is from my laptop. So in the C drive in the program files uh, x eighty six folder, there is a Grosvenor poker folder. And then you follow this string down, uh, folder data, folder, your alias that you're using on Grosvenor. Then there's a history folder and a data folder. And then these two, these are the two important folders that we want to, uh, we want to worry about. Okay, so I'll go through that string on my computer. 
And one thing to note uh, before you start is to make sure that you've got hidden items unchecked or checked in the in the sort of file properties. So go to view when you're in a, a file explorer pane. Click hidden. Did that come in? Yeah, good. And then go to uh, your C drive and then users. Now I've seen uh, many people have got maybe one, two or three uh, folders in there, depending on how many users have used their machine. Uh, there should be one with your admin account name and it may be that you're looking in the wrong place. So we'll go through this procedure on mine. If you go through it and you don't find it, try one of the other folders. The reason this default uh, folder is slightly less bright than these two is that because normally it's a hidden folder, but it's been uh, it's been allowed to see. So for me, it's in P. So you go to P and now you need to click on app data, which is the hidden folder, but you see it because you've checked that box and then local and then in here in this uh, users p uh, for me whatever it is for you on your computer app data local you will see a grosvenor poker folder so click in there then click in data then on your uh, username history data and these are the two folders that we're wor really worried about and this these are the folders that uh, poker tracker 4 goes to look for so now that we know that on my machine, so do this first for your machine, find this string either via the users app data local route or the x86 route that I tagged at 427. It will be on one of those two, assuming you've checked that box um, in the client. So we know it's there. So we're going to open up Poker Tracker and um, we're going to try and set up the HUD. So the way to do that is to go to Tools, Set Up Assistant, and then Configure Sites. This screen will come up, and these are all the sites that are either you're already do, uh, using or you're not. So uh, for me personally, it's PokerStars and uh, Microgaming as, as of last week or the week before. Clearly, Microgaming has gone, so we're going to uncheck that, but we're going to check iPoker Network. So we're, no, we're now telling poker tracker that we are going to be uh, trying to source some hands from the iPoker network. So then we go next and now it, uh, it, it will, this is the box. Now if you hit auto detect, it won't find them. So, and it says no iPoker network skins appear to be installed. This is because, and the reason it doesn't find them for Grosvenor is because uh, poker tracker does a periodic update, maybe once a month and you get to update the software, maybe once a month or once every two months. Um, clearly, they haven't updated their software yet uh, after last Tuesday when quite a few of the MPN skins went across to, to, uh, to iPoker. So it, so it doesn't recognize it at the moment, So, but we can add it manually. So we basically go through the same route we just did on that test. So we go to local users because I know it's in there. Um, uh, my, my user data folder, app data, local. Grosvenor Poker, uh, data's already expanded, RNRO6, which is my login, history's already um, uh, expanded, hit the data folder, and there are the two, uh, the two uh, folders that I was talking about earlier, so important. So we'll click on tables and then OK. So that, now, that string now appears here in this box, but we need to get the tournament one in, so we'll add that as well. Local disk, it's a bit mandrolic. You've got to go through it twice. It doesn't automatically pull it up. App data, local, Grosvenor Poker. And if you have any other iPoker sites, they should be stored in this list, like Labrooks and people like that. Uh, data, so you click on your alias, history, then data. And we already put the tables one in just now, so we'll put the tournament one in. OK. So they're now in uh, and ready for Poker Tracker to start looking. We hit next. A couple of things. If you haven't set the seat seating assignment, uh, and there's also a another thing in the lobby where you can uh, set that. Um, keep that checked as yes, because it, it basically the uh, the client. If you if you haven't specifically told it to seat you somewhere else, it will always plunk you in the middle at the bottom. 
uh, and this is where iPoker Network's looking so it can identify you as the player when it looks at the hand history. And then they do have their own version of speed poker for cash tables, like a bit like uh, PokerStar Zoom or Parties uh, Fast Forward or Rush Poker. Um, so click that if you want to see the HUD for that. I have tried that and I'm going to be honest, I haven't got that to work, but it was working fine on other cash tables and for tournaments. So this is now going to go to the next site and I'm not worried about this because I know this already works. So it's looking to configure PokerStars. So I'm not worried that this is all PokerStar stuff. OK, you'll get to the final step and depending on how many poker sites you've got uh, poker tracker working, this number will change. Um, however, I would recommend you check uh, both these boxes. Basically, this will look on your hard drive right now in a minute and have a look for, to see if it's already downloaded some uh, files for you. And this one moves to where you configure it to move the files after your import. There is a default setting that's in the software or you can say move them out to a cloud base. Uh, I, for me, I've got Poker Tracker running on two computers under my license. Uh, I have this set to send up to a OneNote file in the cloud, and then each, uh, and then I can use both uh, both versions uh, to draw hands from the other computer uh, effectively, and then have a merged database on both machines um, quite quickly. But if anyone wants to know how to do that, I can uh, just let me know in the comments. OK, so we hit OK and now it's looking for old hands uh, and it's uh, and it says it's done. So we'll close that. <coughs> uh, and we're nearly ready. One last step to do is now uh, when you start playing, you should see the hands appear in this box when you hit get hands while playing playing. Um, but before we do that, we need to set the HUD to, to start doing it. So you go to HUD, HUD Options, Profile Select, and here you'll see uh, all of the, pal, uh, all of the um, uh, poker sites. And you can split this between cash tables and tournament tables. So the way to do it is just to hit iPoker Network, any, 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 choose the profile you want, and hit Add. Uh, and I've already got one in there, so I'm going to say no. But what, when you hit add, this one will appear in this list here. I thought I had deleted it, but it obviously didn't come off. And then for tournaments, the tournament one has gone. So we go to iPoker Network, uh, any limit, any players, any game, any seats, etc. So any iPoker Network tournament, just as a start, you can play around with this afterwards if you've got different HUDs saved on your system. Um, add that HUD and then hit apply and then okay so that should be there and now a final thing to check before you go live is if you go to configure site and import options and then hit ipoker network the two folders that we imported about a couple of minutes ago they're there sat waiting also make sure you've got this get hands from site while playing checked and that means uh, that, that, that forces the whole thing to go through. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get hands while playing and just to check that it's working. I'm gonna, uh, just over here on this other screen, I've got a poker site. Let's quickly join in on a little one cent, two cent. I'm not gonna wait for the big blind, just for sake of speed. And we'll play a hand or two. So it's really important. Uh, and I think the problem that people have had is, is getting, is because uh, the download has happened uh, prior to a poker, track, poker tracker update. Um, it doesn't know where to look, frankly, and it doesn't know that the site exists at that moment in time. So you have to force it and tell it, and that's where you do it by adding those folders. But then it's really important to find those folders in the first place. So if they're like on most machines, like in the um, on most versions of Windows 10, we seem to be finding it's in the um, the user folder. The only way you're going to find them is by unche unchecking or checking. That hidden files box so you really need to do that um, okay so here we have a hand 
So nothing will happen until I've played a hand, assuming it's working. And now fingers crossed, it was working last week. Or a few days ago when I tried it. Come on, shipmate, hurry up. Right, I'll just check that through. Okay, I'm doing this for expediency, so let's just fold and pack on with our lives. And here we go, there's the folder. Most of my um, uh, HUD, I'm not gonna go through each HUD. Let's have a bit of fun. Um, I'm not gonna go through each HUD setting or anything just to show that actually after one hand having set it up from cold it is now working on a cash table um, assuming um, everything else oh he's free bet me interesting that hits his range oh he's checking Probably right. So let's uh, sit out. Hold that. Fold. Oops. Okay. So there we go. That's how to do it. Any questions? Um, you can find me on uh, Twitter at Mickey underscore Spillane. Uh, and clearly, I'm going to put this onto YouTube now. So uh, through the YouTube channel comments, if you want any uh, answer any questions. But I hope that's been useful. Uh, and uh, good luck at the tables. Thank you very much.